Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the sliders in your Radio Master or your Jumper radio. This example is a TX16S, but I know it'll work on the Jumper T18 just as well. Don't worry about the part numbers, I'll put those in the description for you. I ordered two different sets of potentiometers. I got them both at Mauser, but one manufacturer is Borns and the other one is Alps. I wanted to get both because they're really cheap and I just wanted to see which one I'd like better while I had the radio apart. As it turns out, I personally like the Borns pots better because they feel a little bit more fluid and they have a very good center detent, although the Alps pots have a really solid detent. So if you're looking for a really hard locking center detent, you'll probably want the Alps unit instead. I like the Borns because I think overall the detent was acceptable and they felt a little bit more fluid while I'm moving them. Okay, inside the radio there are two screws for each potentiometer, one up here on the top and then one here on the bottom. So you have to take both of those out. And before you start unscrewing things, it'd be a good idea to pay attention to your cable routing. Take a look at the cable routing on the top right near that leaf spring. You don't want to run your pot's lead underneath that spring because it'll interfere with the gimbal. So you just take out the screw on the top, take out the screw on the bottom, and you pop out the potentiometer. The next thing you want to do is take a picture of the connections to the main board. The pots both plug in just above the multi-module, and you can see in the case of both of these potentiometers, red is right. So red is on the right-hand side for both. Okay, both potentiometers are out. It's time to go over to the bench. On the bench, you'll notice that both potentiometers have a metal tang that wraps around the PCB. As you can see here, all you need to do is lift that tang up and then the potentiometer is free to desolder from the board. These are the three pins that need to be desoldered in order to remove the potentiometer. I found the easiest way to do this was to start on the bottom and lay my iron across all three pins and just start rocking the pot back and forth until it becomes loose. And then after that, you just kind of have to hit each pin until it lets go. And then once each pin is free, this is what you're left with. You have two choices here. You can either desolder or just warm up that solder and push your potentiometer through the holes at the same time. That's what I wound up doing. I put my iron across those all three pins on the bottom and I heated up the solder until it turned molten and then I pushed the pot in from the top. This potentiometer is now seated. All that remains is to bend those metal tangs around the bottom of the circuit board to lock it in place. Okay, onto the second potentiometer, same deal. Just heat up those three pins and while you're doing that, rock the potentiometer until it comes free. And you'll be left with a circuit board that looks just like this. As you can see in this picture, I've got the potentiometer just barely seated in the three holes. All that's left to do now is put the iron on the pins and warm them up so that you can fully seat the pot on the PCB. And here's how I do that. I just lay my iron across all three pins and push on the pot from the bottom. And there you go, I bent the tangs around the back side. The new pots are installed. Now it's time to put them back in the radio. Notice on the radio, this is an example of how not to route your wires. Do not route your wire underneath that leaf spring because if you do, your gimbal will interfere with that wire and you could potentially pinch up your wires, cause a short circuit, lock up your gimbal. Nothing good comes out of doing it, so do not route your wires this way. Also notice the zip tie on the top left. I did not have to cut that in order to remove the potentiometer JST. It just slid right out. I didn't have any problems removing it and leaving the zip tie in place. Here the pots are reinstalled in the radio. Notice the wiring. Neither one of them go underneath those leaf springs and both of the wires are routed through their zip ties and down to the daughter board above the multi-module. Here you can see I've got the slider arms reinstalled and everything's ready to be buttoned back up. One thing that's super important to do whenever you change hardware inside a radio is to recalibrate. So make sure you go into the system menu all the way over to hardware and calibrate and recalibrate your radio because once you change the hardware, the electrical condition changes and you could wind up with too much range, too little range, whatever. So just make sure you calibrate these pots after you stick them in. I'd say after just a few minutes of use, it is definitely an improvement, but it's not as dramatic as you might think. And that's my point with earlier videos. I really don't think there was anything really that wrong with the pots on the TX-16S in the first place. I really just did this so I'd know the difference. And there, while there is a more solid detent in the middle, 
I don't think the overall feel by itself is that much of an improvement. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. For the rest of you, keep talking, thumbs up, like, share, all that stuff. Hit, hit up my affiliate links for Amazon and Banggood and check out the t-shirt store. That's all I've got for today, guys. Take it easy.